Hi my amazing planner people, it's Jess from My Magical Planner and today I'm going to be planning out the week of June 3rd through the 9th in my Hobonichi Cousin using a kit. So this is a kit from Hello Petite Paper. She makes Hobonichi Cousin kits that are really pretty and this is one that I've had for quite a while. So I have the two page kit as well as the florals. There might have been some changes to her format since I got this since I did get it last year I'm not 100% positive so I'm planning on using that I do have my inner gel Klenna here in a 0.5 to also use because I use that for writing on the stickers and this week I'll be using my pilot vanishing point now I've just inked these up for the ink these inked my um, fountain pens up for the month so this particular one is inked up with a purple like a purpley blue ink from sailor it's called a Mon manual which i think is a line of inks and it's fuji so it's this really cool purpley color that i'm going to be using so there is my plan for the week. I am behind. It is Monday when I'm doing this planning instead of Sunday. It's just things have been a little hectic. I've had some really bad headaches. So and I'm still battling one. So this will probably be a quicker plan with me. All right. I'm going to start by using her days of the week because I think they're really cute. So we're just going to pop those on. All right, there's all of the days of the week. Really pretty. Um, I do want to add a division here. And with this kit, let me see if I can find it. Uh, oh, it's right here. She does have these really thin little headers. Ooh, but she only has, I was gonna use these because I was like, oh, that'd be really cute, just really thin up there. But it looks like there are only three of this length and three of the shorter length and I don't know how that would look so maybe instead I'll use the thinner washi here so and with the way I've currently been planning this might be more than I need for like a weekly spread to be honest so we'll have to see on that front Although I was thinking about kind of switching things up just a little bit this week because, you know, it's me. Got to switch things up a little bit. Just kind of adds to the spice of life, right? Plus, I want to see how many different spread designs I can kind of do. So I might be, yeah, we'll see what I change up this week. I'm not even sure because my brain is is tired it hurts <laughs> so I'm not sure if it's a tension headache or if I have like a sinus headache that just won't go away like sometimes it's hard for me to to really tell the difference between the two to be honest ah. and life as a mom just doesn't stop because you have a headache I mean you still got to get things done. Dinner still needs to be made. <laughs> you know, like all the things. So there is that top strip. I love that these are perfectly sized to go across here. Like the sizing is awesome on this. Next, let's do the weather really quick and just get that done. I think I'm going to do the Chrissy and Designs little icons again this week. So let's pull up the weather and I'll real quick put that in. I'm going to speed up a bunch of these portions for you guys today. 
All right, my headache was so bad that I forgot to say anything else for the whole rest of this video. So we're gonna finish this off as a voiceover. So I'm using the Chrissy Ann designs there at the top to mark my weather. And then I will come back in with my vanishing point to go ahead and add in all of the temperatures. I love having this at the top of my planner so that when I look at the day, I can really plan out you know, is it a good day to do X, Y, or Z, especially for my to-do list. So it really is helpful. Plus, if the kids are <laughs> getting ready for school and I notice that, you know, maybe it's been really warm the last couple of days and today it's a lot cooler, I can be like, hey, do you really want to wear shorts? <laughs> And that kind of thing. Right below that little strip, divider strip that I put, I put another little piece from the kit and wrote dinners on it. This is where I'm going to put all my dinners for the week. I went ahead and used a Tombow to mark off that and kind of signify that area. I'm letting it dry before I write on it with my vanishing point because I don't want it to bleed funny. And I found that if you let it dry first, it's totally fine. I also realized that the kit had this really thin divider, so I'm using that to divide off the area at the top for my daily appointments and such. But when doing that, one of the strips was too short to fill out that second portion, so I'm just adding in some florals to kind of fill in that space. I use the biggest one on Sunday because I tend not to have a whole lot going on on Sunday. Now, I did want to use up all of the boxes that came with the kit. So I am putting my appointments and such on the boxes this week and I'm using my um, Energel pen to do that. Now I'm not sure if I really love the way that this looks to be honest. It was something different to try and I don't think it looks bad. However, I think I like it better when I'm just writing everything in. So it does take up a little bit more space and everything, which is fine right now. I don't have a ton going on. So like on Monday, I was marking off the chiropractor and Megan had a doctor's appointment. Tuesday was a nail appointment because if you look at my nails, they really needed to be done at this point. Wednesday, I went ahead and marked Emily had a end of school celebration that she had at her school. And then I was also marking Megan's chiropractor and I'll come back in in a few minutes and also put Dan's trombone in here. But I think it went really well. Um, for the second half of the week, I really didn't have anything on Thursday. I've been trying to keep Thursdays open. I did use one of the half circles to mark payday. And then below that, I did mark um, Emily having, she wanted to go downtown with her friends. So we marked that off. And the fact that Megan had a chiropractor appointment again. <laughs> she has lots of chiropractor appointments right now because we're just getting started. So she goes three times a week. And then my husband was leaving on a trip or at least was supposed to leave on Saturday. He actually ended up rearranging his flights and flying out Sunday morning instead because of different things going on. And then I've started implementing on Saturdays. I get my kids for an hour and we get to do some outdoor tasks together. So this week was weeding which is kind of, <laughs> it was both good and bad. We got a ton done, but it has kind of prompted a lot of allergies and asthma and yeah. <laughs> so after that, I did go ahead and, because those are the major things, mark off that second portion of the week. I like to use the bottom portion for my to-dos right now. And I went back in and I did put down a sticker on Sunday just to mark my weekly planning because that's generally when I do that and it does, it tends to take up my entire morning, honestly. I did pull in a few icons. Um, the, the nail one was from White Deer Stationery and the other one I think was from Paper Trail Plans. I did decide to bring in one of the full boxes on Thursday because I didn't have anything else going on. And then I used these torn paper elements to kind of section off this bottom portion, which I tend to do my to-dos in. So I just put one of the little arrows and wrote to do on it. And I will post a picture on my Instagram of everything after I was done with the week. So you have all of my pen markings and everything there. On the sidebar, I decided to go ahead and use another full box to cover up the calendar because I don't really use calendar that much over there. And then I use some florals to cover up that 
top portion where it said June because I wanted to use a Hello June sticker here. Then I'm just using one of the really dividers there and writing this week with my fountain pen above it. Now I'm going back in and writing in all of our meals, which for the most part went to plan, but there's always, there's always some juggling because it's just the nature of things. As long as I have all the ingredients, like we can swap things around and it's fine. Below the this week in the sidebar, I did use one of the checklists. I'm going to put all of my weekly tasks here. Things like I had to take my van in to get the AC fixed. Um, I wanted to return. <laughs> we had tons of pop bottles. So I, I needed to return those to the store because um, we live in Michigan. So there is a $10, $10, that'd be nice, 10 cent deposit there <laughs> to get back. Then I put in two habit trackers below this. Um, I'm also going to mark off a few other things from my Moxie Life goal planning for the week. Things like the new audiobook I was listening to, or well, I'm still listening to, it's almost done, <laughs> called How Was Where the Bodies Are. It's a murder mystery and it's kind of interesting. And um, then I wanted to mark off, um, I had a goal of figuring out where we were going to do a day trip as a family. And so I had some ideas that I was working on for that. Then I'm going to take these little dots that were in the kit. She has one for each day of the week and I'm placing them at the very bottom of the page. And this is where I'm going to track my walking for the week. So what I do is I'll signify how far I walked and how long the walk was so I can kind of see how I'm doing. I'm also using one of the little area arrows and just writing the word walk on it. And because I was doing this on Monday, I was able to put in my first walk, which was 2.58 miles. I was super proud of that. But down there was just that I, I had a friend goal that I wanted to meet and I'm filling in a few more of the things I could think of from my goal planning notebook on the sidebar so that I could quickly reference them throughout the week and add them to my to-do list. That's everything. So I hope you have a good week and until next time, I'll see you real soon.